Welcome to Rickshaw Scale Modelling for my next build and building this Eddard Harrier GR9 or 79 uh, scale 140. This is uh, the second build in my Harrier series, uh, the first being the Sea Harrier from Tamiya. Um, I'll take you through this build. It's uh, similar to the Sea Harrier. Uh, also, this is uh, an updated version of, of the aircraft, so there is some subtle differences. So we'll get into the build. Okay, to begin with, I'm going to be doing the cockpit as usual. Um, the majority of the cockpit uh, base colour is going to be Rebel Aqua Colour Grave number 57, and that will be for the entire cockpit with uh, detailing on um, going on. Now, the, the main difference between this um, kit and the Tamiya kit, really, for the build is the photo etch parts that you can see here. Now I didn't use them all, I only used them somewhere where I deemed it was necessary, so a lot in the cockpit really. Um, they're very small parts but very well um, thought and laid out and the instructions are really clear for it. So dealing with these uh, photo etch parts I recommend a, a really good uh, pair of tweezers to do it, as I say the parts are really small but um, they are coloured so there's a good you don't have to paint them which is a good thing sometimes you, you do have to paint them um, as you can see there uh, just make out I'm, I'm putting on the control of the instrument panels um, there's uh, items for the side and for the front uh, instrument panels just be, make sure you get them in the right order so that's the instrument panels in as you can see how small they are um, but they do fit in rather well. Moving on to the seat of the cockpit, the photo etch parts are, again are, are small but there's a variation of plastic and photo etch on this and um, they're fairly easy to put in. The seat belts on it are really nicely laid out as well for it. The uh, colours for the um, seat range from dark grey Aqua 378 and mouse grey Aqua 47. Um, it dep depends on how you want to do it. You know, I, I just put in different shades just to make it look good. And once uh, uh, you're building up, um, make have a look to see um, where you're going to put your detailing in. It's um, always good to do it um, as you're going along, I find. on on cockpits and so forth. So in here I'm just putting um, uh, some parts black which is the Revel Aqua 08 matte black. Once you put on your photo edge parts um, again it's a good time just to touch up any paint surfaces and things like that. Make sure it's fairly dry though. You may be tempted to think oh it looks a bit dry I'll just throw on a bit of paint. You can ruin your paintbrush if it's not dry. Moving on to the inner part of the engine now, this is predominantly painted in Revoir Colour 91 steel and um, the instructions say uh, uh, just paint uh, a little bit there where you see. I prefer to paint it all just in case you've left a little gaps. Moving on to the fuselage, um, just take the, the time to uh, sand on any boards that you may have on the, the actual plastic itself and make sure it's all nice and clean before bonding as always. With the um, Harrier you, you have the exhaust port thrust. Um, these uh, little bars are, are put in without um, any glue so that they can be manoeuvred uh, once the kit's built. Uh, they're just little uh, poly plugs that you put in then marry it up and secure it. There's a couple of holes that you have to make on this kit so I'll use your pin drive just to make them. Have a look at this stage as well to decide if you're going to have it on a display stand or not because um, this will be where you, you'll be uh, making the hole for the display stand. And once the prep was done it's just a, a case of slotting it in position and it fits really really well this kit. In fact, some parts are really tight, so just be careful. Make sure you, you dry fit beforehand. And once the um, underside 
uh, of the aircraft is done uh, time to bond the fuselage together again just take note of the two bars that are going to be holding the exhaust struts make sure they're in the proper position before you close it up because if it's not you'll have problems down the line now's the time to put in the engine now the instructions call for the side panels to be white but um, I painted them the white originally and I thought well surely they should be the same colour as the main fuselage so later on I did uh, repaint them back to the cockpit and just in the side panels of the cockpit um, again one or two bits of full edge to go in and once you're happy it's just a simple case of bonding the two parts together um, before it slots into the main fuselage I do like this design of this kit how, how the cockpit goes together and how it bonds into the, the main fuselage and the nose of the aircraft, the nose cone um, again it's just a simple case of bonding the two halves together a little part added on um, shouldn't cause any trouble for you next up is the air intakes for the engine now um, these can be uh, positioned in an open or closed um, depending on how you want to display the um, kit I, I decided to go in the open because the CR was in closed so there's just little best described a lot of rectangular parts of uh, plastic and they just slot in into the holes there is um, little um, bars to rest again when you're doing it so you can't really go wrong and next up is the exhaust uh, vent thrusters there's four of these to make up uh, two at the front two at the back each um, set are slightly different in size so just be careful that you're putting them in the right position and once they're made up and just painting them in Revel Aqua Colour 09 and before you put the thrusters in there's a, a couple of little heat plates there that have to go in first these are getting painted in Tamiya's XF84 Dark Iron and uh, it's a good time just to check for fit to see how everything is going to go and once you're happy with the fit just uh, a matter of gluing them in make sure you paint around the area with your main fuselage colour before you put them on and then it's time to attach the cockpit to the main fuselage again they just slot into the little slots very good fitting as I said before I know the air intakes are dry it's just a matter of slotting them in to the side if you've uh, used clamps and things like that just uh, take care that you don't knock them off or whatever when you put your next part on and the same with the uh, cockpit cone you know it's just uh, slotting into place the F clamps just holding the top plate and I had a little bit of slippage so I had to um, put a heavy clamp on just to get it to conform to the kit painting the underside of the uh, wings and other parts of the aircraft and it's all getting painted in Revel Aquarius 79 which is a greyish blue and the top part is getting painted in Tamiya XF83 which is a medium C uh, grey just to give the um, uh, different contrast to the plane you, there's not much difference in the colours it's just nice to have different contrasts as, as you're looking at the model making up the weapons uh, I find it easier to put the fins and things like that while it's on the sprue just to um, hold it one day I'll make up a jig that I can hold these um, safely once they're on the, the, then I'll take them off and paint them onto the top panel of the aircraft Th these panels um, you can paint them as you go along like I'm doing or you can leave it until the end it's entirely up to you uh, as I said I just prefer to do it this way and the, the top units are uh, fairly easy to put on there is little guys and runners that they just slot into just um, be aware if you've I've had problems down the line with um, any slippage or something like that this is where it will start to tell whether you got them in position next up are the wing edges 
uh, parts that go on to the cowling of the engine. These are just two uh, parts that are put together, then put onto the um, the engine cowling there. Now that the uh, glue's um, dried on the missiles, first of all, painting the tapes in Revel Aqua 08 matte black. And then I'll go on to the um, body which will be painted in Tamiya X2 white. Once everything is dry on the weapons, um, time to put on the decals. The very small decals, but um, again, a good pair of tweezers and a cocktail stick. Uh, I find the, the ideal thing to use to put these tiny little decal, decals on. And while the decals are drying on the missiles, uh, it's a good time to take the opportunity to place all the little parts on the underside. So I'll start off with the rear stabiliser at the bottom of the aircraft, moving on to the tail. Um, this is done in a contrast colour again. I'll also, um, no, off camera I made up the um, support and arms for the missile as you can see at the bottom there and also put the decals on and once the decals are dried I'm just highlighting the missile so I'm using Revel Aqua number 15 yellow for this so before I can attach uh, things to the wing I have to put the wing together and uh, it's uh, the normal case is just marring up the two parts again they just click in very easily and once I've got the wings uh, assembled Again, just slot them in place. Very tight fit, which is uh, good. There's hardly any movement. So I'm just using the F-clamp as I make sure stand here uh, to get to an angle where I can put these um, wing tips on. Then I'm mo moving on to the tail fin. A uh, couple of little four edge parts put on at the side here. Um, th the these are little four edge parts are for the um, for the wings so they can rotate. I glued them into a fixed position but you can actually have them so they can move. So once you've got your four parts, uh, edge parts in position there's a just a little hole that you, you you place your wing into and again depending on um, whether you want it to freely rotate or fix um, is depending on where you put the glue as you said. As I said I um, decided to put it in a fixed position and once the wings were on it's uh, popping in the, t the tail fin again the um, location points are, uh, are nicely situated on on this model and once the, ma the main tail is on just the uh, matter placing in the little runner up to the tail the wing wheel supports are, are next the 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 tire i used um life color black and rubber 1706 and um for the, the main shafts and that I use Revel Aquacolor number 91 steel. Now if you have the aircraft in flight mode you don't have to paint all of the wing um, tires support struts. You, in fact you may have to cut them down a bit so um, it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. So while we wait for everything to dry and just putting on the various uh, little tiny pieces at the bottom. So that's a lot of the little bits going in. Now for the um, underside, there's one or two to put on, there's, there's no point in showing you every single little bit. So going back to the wheels and support struts, they, they go into this channel, uh, as you see, and just putting in the cement, and um, as I said before, it depends how you want to do them, they do slip in, um, but if you have them in flight mode, these are all getting covered so you can chop them off if you, if you wish. So once they're on it's just a matter of putting on the, the, the covers now and they just lay on top. And now I'm um, putting on the aerofoils at the bottom of the aircraft before moving on to the brackets to hold the weapon systems. It's worth pointing out you may have to increase the hole size where these uh, brackets go in. I just had to open them up slightly uh, to get a, a good fit. And now that uh, everything's on, it's time to tidy up the painting. So again, I'm using Tami XF83, which is the medium C grey. 
I use this grey uh, as the main colour and um, you, you, you can see on now that there's only a, a slight difference contrast uh, in the uh, top colour on the wings and so forth. So at this point it's a good uh, time to point out the contrast of the colours. You can see it there. Um, I think it works very well. The um, two lighter parts haven't been painted yet because there's still a little bit of what need doing to them. But first of all onto the canopy and uh, there's a, a decal you put in for the uh, navigation lines. Back to the cockpit now and onto the main seat which goes into the house and now this is an actual resin part so um, you, you have to solve the part. Make sure that you wear a mask when you're doing this. You do not want to breathe in any of those little particles. So for the headrest and seats I'm using Revel Aqua colour number 16 which is a, a yellow sandy colour and for the um, back of the padding of the seat I'm using Revel Aqua 86 olive brown. So with us dry, drying going back to the canopy. Now the canopy is a, a slightly different colour from the grey so I'm using Revel Aqua number 79 greyish blue. and back to the top of the aircraft and just putting on all the little pieces that have to go on. Now the main seat's dry. Uh, the sides were done in Revo Aqua 09, I got right. So um, everything's dry so it's time to put on the seat belts, uh, the four inch seat belts. Again they're very nice and laid out, small but I got a good pair of tweezers and a little bit of CA glue or super glue and um, you shouldn't find it too difficult to put them on. So it's lots of seat belts going on now and again they just uh, flop on. If you're using a super glue try and use one that's um, a slow set that way you can just uh, maneuver it about slightly to get it in position. And again once everything is dry it's time to do the detailing. So I'm just using um, red so it's a Rebel Aqua Colour 36 and a little bit of yellow which is a Rebel Aqua Colour 15. And um, th these are just little dots and uh, I'm putting on to highlight the areas. There is a, a little bit of photo you, you can put on if you want at this point but I thought I'll just paint them in. Just before I moved on to the canopy, um, off camera I put in the um, seat in, into the cockpit area. So onto the canopy, it's just a, a little bit of canopy glue I'm using to glue in the, um, the, the clear passive part onto the mount. And while that was drying I took the opportunity to paint the, the rest of the aircraft. And then it was back to the cockpit to, p to paint the coverings for the instrument panel on, on the nose cone. And it's a good time at this point just to check um, inside the um, cockpit to see whether there's any touch-ups or whatever needing to be done before you put the canopy on. So in the end I didn't actually put the seat in properly so I took it out and um, just to reposition it. So it's back to the underside to put on the drop fuel tanks. I decided not to put the uh, missiles on in the end because I already had them on the sea area and I thought um, why not have them off and see what it looks like and I, I preferred the look. Back to the canopy, uh, first of all gluing on the back uh, part of the canopy so the mount goes on first then time to bond the front part of the canopy. Next up was to paint the wing tips so this was done in Rebel Aqua 36 red first of all then I moved on to Rebel Aqua Colour 360 field green. So I started uh, putting on the decals as you can see here but um, one thing I did forget to do with the scheme was going the tail fins were meant to be painted white so I stopped what I was doing waiting until everything was dry before I started painting and that's um, Tamiya's X2 white on the tail. So once everything was dry um, I put another coat of clear on and it was back to uh, decaling and um, there's quite a few bits of decal to put on here. 
So some more decals going on and um, then after that is uh, another coat of clear to seal them in and then a little bit of weathering um, just using some tammy pigments on that just a light weathering nothing much so this build brings the build to a close um, hopefully you've enjoyed it why don't you check out all my other builds particularly the Sihara the one just before this and um, they are linked together if you have any questions comments and so forth feel free to leave them um, there will be a short slide show at the end of this as I said at the top of the video also showing the sea area together with this one so for now thank you all for watching bye bye